Hello? Hello, Mr. Foster? Yes. This is Roy from the Homeowners Association. Yes. And uh, I just needed to let you know that um, you've got a, a new mailman. He's going to be starting on Monday, and he's he's handicapped. Why, can I ask you a question? Okay. Why are you calling at 1230 at night to well, tell me something about a new mailman? Well, we tried to call earlier, and he didn't answer. So I don't, I don't give a damn. It's twelve thirty well, at night. Well, you asked for a reason. Why do you not give a damn? Why'd you ask for the reason if you don't give a damn? No, no, because who calls at twelve thirty at night? The homeowners association. This is Roy. I already told you that. What's your last name? Gerbel. I, I work for Bob. And you're calling at twelve thirty at night? Yeah, I need to let you know something about the mailman. What, that we got a new mailman starting next week? Well, no, it's it's more important than that. The mailman is actually disabled, and you're going to need to install a wheelchair ramp on your property to accommodate his disability. What? You know, for the Disabilities Act of 2004? No, 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 no. Who the hell? What are you talking about? A mailman? Yeah. I got to put... What are you talking about? I don't... He doesn't even come to my house. I know, but he's disabled. What if he has to come up and... I don't give a damn. What Who if, the hell are you? Listen, he he's a veteran, sir, so you should give a I damn. I could give a grat's ass. But he, he fought for your country. He fought for your no, freedom. No, 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 yeah. no. Yes, 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 so yes. you're Roy who? Gerbel. Okay, hold on. I'd like to take down uh, how to spell your last name. So what? You don't you don't like the the no, troops? No, no, no. Hey, you don't hey, support hey, the go, troops? Go screw yourself. Get a life, phone, loser. We've been trying to call you. And your name is Roy. What is your last name? It's Roy Gerbel. So I'm being right called on the telephone. Yes, right there. You know what? I think you better take. Uh, a pill and smoke another funny cigarette and shove it up your ass. Don't you ever call this number again. I know that the phone's not a toy. I just got a call from a Roy. The number shows up and it's spoof. Says he's at my house replacing my roof. Man, this guy's a jerk for this. I just rushed home, left work for this. No one's at my house on my roof. This Roy guy, what a goof. We just made an ensuite sweet pool and the landlord says not nah, cool. Not on the lease, my name's Roy Gerbell, unit 203. I'm a tenant from hell. There's a tunnel system attached. We found a secret hatch. Don't get smart with me and I'm tight. This is now an archaeological dig site. there everyone you're listening to the friday episode of the snowplow show this is your host brad it's may 24th 2019 and this one is brought to you by the swedish models carol gertie 666 plaz jt and todd l those are a few of the many sponsors of the snowplow show over on patreon thanks all of you for supporting the show just a couple of things before we get started today number one i was on the dickheads podcast this week that was on Tuesday, and it's now on their podcast feed. I will have a link to that in the show notes. The Dickheads podcast is a podcast about the Dick Show, basically a fan podcast. 
and I'm a listener of The Dick Show, so I got to be on it. How come nobody does this for my show, by the way? The Dick Show has about 20 different fan podcasts of his show. I don't have any. This is bullshit. And nobody ever sends me in news segments like on The Dick Show. I'm getting really jealous. Um, anyway, yeah, I'm sorry. The Dickheads podcast, link in the show notes. It was kind of fun. I haven't listened to it yet. They probably edited it all around, so I sound extra gay or something. Also, today I was on the Superphone Brothers podcast. They do a daytime prank show on Prank Call Nation at Mixler.com slash Prank Call Nation. I have no idea where they post their archives or if they post their archives. But we did a fun call today. I guess something they've been doing for a while now is they call up Applebee's or maybe it was a Denny's. I can't remember. And they say, hey, my dad's in there right now. Do you see him? And they get them to identify somebody. And they're like, yeah, it's his birthday. Can you all go over there and sing happy birthday for him? And they had me do that today. And I got it on my first try. I actually got them to go over to a couple sitting at a table. And they sang happy birthday to the couple. And they gave the guy free jello shots. And we got to hear them sing happy birthday on the phone. It was pretty amazing. So if they have their archives up somewhere, definitely go find that and listen to it. I don't think they do, though. I'm looking everywhere. I don't see it. What the hell, Superphone Brothers? Put your archives up. Wasted Memory's doing it now. Over at WastedMemory.com. You guys should, too. One more thing. I put out a brand new episode of Mr. Dobolino's Wonderful World of Prank Calls. You can find that at WorldofPrankCalls.com. It's a whole show of trailer park calls. I pulled the pranks out of about five different shows of trailer park calls the other day just because I think maybe a voicemail caller reminded me of that one call I did where Carol did a fake commercial for a trailer park and I told him that he should tell me which episode that is so I can post it and I got impatient I just started looking for it and I never found it but at least a trailer park episode came out of that so be sure to go listen to that worldofprankcalls.com let's get started with today's show greetings listener I'm Mr. Biggs, and you've tuned in to the Snowplow Show on the Phone Losers of America Radio Network playing the best pranks of the 80s, 90s, and today. Somebody set up a Craigslist ad with the prank line phone number on it saying that I am selling chickens. And I'm not selling chickens. It's a prank. I don't appreciate it. And this morning I had, I don't know, something like 100 emails notifying me of voicemails and texts and stuff to that phone number. So I think today I might try and call some of these back. I'm also receiving phone calls semi-regularly about the chickens. I don't know if they're all from different people or it's just one person that really wants those chickens. I think maybe they're free chickens. Here, let me go to my voicemail page for the prank line. Susan wants to adopt my chickens. Maybe they're not free. I don't see anything about free in here. How much are you asking for the chickens? This guy wants 20. Oh, and look at this. A call is coming in right now. I bet you it's about the chickens. Hello? Hello? Oh, can I come get the chicken? Oh, the chicken? Yeah. What do you want the chicken for? Oh, it's to, uh, you know, uh, to raise for egg. To raise? What are you going to do with it, though? Yeah. Uh, you know, to let them lay eggs. And, uh, we eat them. How do you cook the eggs? In a uh, fry egg. Yeah, but how do you cook it? What do you cook it with? You know, oil, over easy. Yeah, you got to cook it with heat, though. Yeah. Yeah, with heat. Yeah. Can I get, uh, can I get some chicken, you know? Well, are you going to, are you going to fuck the chickens? No. You, you better not fuck my chickens. No. Because, you know, I, I've sold chickens before, and people always fuck them. That's weird. Yeah, that's not cool. You shouldn't fuck chickens. No. Uh, Are you sure you're not going to fuck the chickens? You sound like a chicken fucker. No, I'm not. You've never been attracted to a chicken before? No. Why not? What are you, like, uh, you know, racist against chickens? Yeah, I just raise them. You racist. You're a racist against chickens. No. Uh, are you going to give uh no, I don't know. You're saying they're not attractive. No. Are I'm you, not, you know. You sure you're not a chicken fucker? No. You sound like such a chicken fucker. 
You sound like the biggest chicken fucker I've ever heard in my entire life. Tell that lady in the background to shut the fuck up. Tell her, okay, there he goes. Yeah, really, I don't know what to do with these chicken calls. What do I do with chicken calls? Ah, shit, here's another one coming in. Hello? Hi, I was calling about your chickens. Oh, yeah, we got chickens. We're tie-dyeing them today. Chickens galore? What? How many chickens do you have to get rid of? Uh, we have over 40 of them right now, but we're, uh, we're tie-dyeing them. You know, like, uh, hippies do the t-shirts, you know, you do the tie-dyes. You're tie-dyeing your chicken? Yeah, we're wrapping rubber bands around them and dipping them in this, uh, tie-dye sauce. I don't know what it's made out of. All right, well, you have a good day. Well, no, no, like, we're still, they're still the same price. We're just tie-dyeing them, Okay. Did she let me go because she knew it was a prank or just because she didn't want tie-dyed chickens? I guess we'll never know. Here's one of the latest voicemails. Hi, Roy. My name's Robin. A friend forwarded your Craigslist posting to me for the chickens. Yep. I'm about an hour away, so wanted to away from what? check into what the possibilities are and what kind of hens you've got. Can you give me a call back? 831. Okay. Let me set up a local number to call her back from. Hello, this is Robin. Hey, Robin. It's Roy. I'm calling about those tie-dyed chickens. Tie-dyed, huh? Yeah, we're, we tie-dyed them all last night. <laughs> they look like hippies. Uh, it's cool. So how come you brought so many chickens out from Massachusetts? My boyfriend is a chicken fucker. He wanted to fuck the chickens. So it was his birthday. And I don't know much about chickens. I just bought the whole lot. This sounds a little too weird for me. What do you mean? He only fucked a few of them. He's like, Roy, this is ridiculous. I, I can only fuck so many chickens. I, I think I'm going to pass. Why? So. Why? Good luck. They're tie-dyed. Okay. You've never had a tie-dyed chicken. I tie-dyed. Okay. That's a no from Robin. And that's about the extent of my ideas for this prank. Oh, an incoming call. Hello? Hello? Hey. Is this Roy? Yeah. Um, I still want to add on a question. I'm not sure if this is true or not. About the chickens? Yes. It's true. Okay. Um, can I come by um, today and then if yes, what time? I can. Oh, yeah. sure. Anytime. Hey, do you know how to finger a chicken's cloaca? What do you mean? You know, just how to finger a chicken's cloaca. I never heard of this before. Oh, shit. That's what this ad's really about. I want to learn how to finger a chicken's cloaca. What, I don't understand what does this mean. Uh, it's a sexual thing. I want to finger a chicken's cloaca. Chicken cloaca? Yeah, yeah, I want to finger it. How, how can you do that? I don't know. I was hoping you knew. Um, I, call, I called you for the ad that you have on Craigslist to, to pick up a chicken and eggs. Yeah. No, I just wanted to learn how to finger a chicken's cloaca. That's the real thing. I don't know how to do that. If you come to my house, I've got like a big basket of eggs here from the chickens. I'm going to throw them at your car. Okay. Um, can you send me your address? Sure. It's 810 Morgan Street. And when, when you come up the driveway, I'm going to be in the tree and I'm going to start throwing eggs at your car. And if you get out of the car, I'm going to throw eggs at you. Okay. What's your address? 810 Morgan Street. Okay. Yep. Okay. I'll be there soon. Okay. But I'm going to throw eggs at you. I'm going to throw chicken eggs at you. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to hit your car and I'm going to hit you. What the hell? <laughs> He's okay with this. He's like, hell Yeah. As long as I get to finger a cloaca. I was telling Mr. Biggs about this in chat earlier. 
And he said if I don't make a cloaca reference, he's going to be really disappointed. So there you go, Mr. Biggs. I did it just for you. I also downloaded a chicken sound into my soundboard. So it can be extra realistic. I don't know why I would need that, but now I have it. I'm just like Carlito and Dwight with their chicken noises. Man, what was with that guy before? He's, he's going to some address that I gave him. A completely made up address. I don't even know if it exists there. Hey, Roy, my name is Chris. I saw your ad on Craigslist for the chickens you need to rehome. Uh, my girlfriend and I are interested. I had sent you a text earlier. Um, but if you could... Okay, let's call this guy up. Chris and his girlfriend need some chickens, apparently. Hello? Hello, Chris. Yeah, man, I was just calling. Uh, this is Roy about the chickens. Oh, hey, Roy. Hey. Are you okay so, with uh, genetically modified chickens? I mean, what does that entail? Uh, well, we've been cloning them, actually, uh, creating them from scratch. And um, Interesting. they work okay, and I, we haven't had them long enough to see how long they live. But when they breed, they produce um, chickens that explode. What? Like they, they just kind huh. of Im implode. I don't know. Like they turn inside out, like just randomly. Like they'll just be walking along and inside out. So you don't want to let them breed. But I think gotcha. I think the eggs they produce are okay. As long as you, you think, huh? Yeah, as long as you eat them. Like you know, don't just don't don't let them hatch. Huh? Yep. That's the only problem we've had so far, is the. So are you just artificially inseminating an egg? Or? Oh no, we're we're creating them from scratch. I've got a CRISPR Cas9 machine. It's a genetic uh, text editor type thing, and we're uh, we're just uh, we're trying to make them taste better, and huh. I think it's working. But the only problem is that they, um, oops, they explode. <laughs> That's the only problem. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Well, so I don't know if I'm interested in genetically modified chicken. Yeah, but what's not genetically modified these days? Don't be afraid of it. It's the future. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. All right. Um, and where are you located at? Um, here, I'm, I'm uh, 810 Morgan Street. Okay, where is that exactly? El Cajon? Yeah, El Cajon. All right. Yep. Um, let me see if I can make it down there. Okay. And talk to my girlfriend about it, and we'll get a cage together, and I'll call you when we're on our way. Okay. If you want, I'll let, I'll let you see one of these things explode. I know how to make them explode. That's trippy. Yeah, yeah, it's just a tone we play, and they, they respond to it, and they, it freaks them out. They explode. I guess it's basically... Explode as... Huh? Uh, explode as far as what? They Their bodies just kind of... Just kind of go inside out, sort of. Hmm. You know, like... Alrighty. Like in uh, Galaxy Quest, when they teleport that creature hmm. and it comes up inside, inside out. Weird. Yep. It's pretty crazy. Alrighty. We don't know why it's doing that. that We're still working crazy. on it. Yeah, sounds like it. <laughs> yep. All right. Well, I'll talk to you soon. Okay, great. See you soon. Thanks. Bye. Are you are you just coming coming on hey. out, or are you gonna call first? I'll call first. Oh, okay. Yeah. Either way is fine. We'll be here all day. Okay. Thanks. Uh. -huh, bye. Bye. So now we know the ads in El Cajon. That helps. Maybe I should give him a real address. I should give him the address to a Chick Fil A. That's what I'll do. Chick-fil-A El Cajon. There it is. Mission George Road. I'll tell him we're not open on Sundays. Hi, Roy. My name's Danny, and I uh, saw your ad for the chickens, and uh, I'd love to come pick up uh, eight of them this morning, if they're still available. Sounds Hello? Hello, Danny? Yeah. Hey, it's Roy. I was calling about those chickens. Roy, hey. Hey. All right, you still got chickens, huh? Yep. 
Um, okay. How many? Well, do you, we are. Uh, we would love, like I said, eight of them. Okay. How many do you currently have? We currently have uh, four. Okay. Can you bring those with you? Uh, what would be what would be the purpose of that? Uh, we're gonna have chicken fights. <laughs> we're we're uh, it's a it's a wager, and you know you might <laughs> you might leave with all my chickens. You might leave with nothing. <laughs> I'm serious. Is this it? Okay. Chicken fights. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I'm not really interested in that. Why not? Like, you're afraid you're going to lose? <laughs> uh, well, there's there's multiple reasons why not. <laughs> Name three of them. One of them. <laughs> What's that? Name three of them. Name three of who? Of the reasons that you're afraid... <laughs> uh well one is i'm in the middle of a project right now and i don't have time for a chicken fight okay <laughs> that's well, probably the biggest reason no you can you can come over anytime you want i'm here all the time okay i just all right i just uh, all right yeah I'm, I'm i'm ready to battle whenever you are <laughs> okay <laughs> i'll give it some thought <laughs> okay thanks for laughing at me a bunch i really appreciate that Fucking asshole. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye. That sucked. Sick of Danny's attitude. Good morning, Roy. Do you um, have chicken and eggs? <laughs> this is Yang. I interesting in. All right. Let's see if Yang's willing to fight for some chickens. Wait. Do they have chicken fights or is that just rooster fights? And how do they fight? Hi. Hey, it's Roy. I was calling about those chickens. Oh, okay. Good. I'm glad you caught right. Uh, right? Yeah. Hey, uh, how, yeah. how many chickens do you have? Uh, we don't have chicken yet. Oh, uh, do you have a dog or a cat? Uh, no. Do you have a child? Yeah, we have a kid, yeah. Okay, bring your kids. We're going okay. uh, to put them in the chicken ring and we're going to fight. Oh, you, uh, you're talking about, uh... Yeah, your, okay. ki your kid against five chickens. Which one will <laughs> win? Uh, I think they scared chicken. <laughs> Only one kid likes chicken, yeah. Yeah, no, they're going to fight. Like, it's going to be a wager, and you might win my chickens. And if you lose, I get your child. Oh, no. <laughs> no, not like that, yeah. No, you know, that's okay. how it works. That's how we're doing it. Oh. Hey, can you tell oh, that kid to shut the fuck up? I, I know, yeah. She, she, I can't she, hear you. She, okay, yeah, she's about to go to the beach, yeah. What? So what's going on? Uh, so what's the deal? Uh, well, I was hoping you had chickens to fight my chickens. Uh, what kind of chicken do you have? Uh, all kinds of chickens, like uh, little white ones. Oh. Uh, my, oh, my, don't have them. my chickens are very strong. They're gonna, they were going to kick your chicken's ass. I know, I know. I don't have chicken, that's why. Ah, shit. Okay. Well, you know, you gotta spin chickens to make chickens. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, it's, yeah, when I read it, it's nothing like that, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's all good. Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, if, if you get any chickens, call me back and we'll, we'll fight them. We'll battle. Uh, okay. Uh, what, like I said, what, what do you have then? I have, I have a bunch uh, of chickens. What, do you have any Asia? Yeah, yeah, I have eggs. You have eggs too? Oh yeah, so many eggs. Oh okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, I've, been, uh, I've been keeping them out outside in the heat. Oh uh, okay. Like in a barrel. Oh. Okay. They're all rotten. <laughs> okay. So uh, what what exactly uh, the deal? Uh, chicken fights. That's the deal. Oh. Uh, oh yeah, my god! That, I those. gotta hang up. I can't listen to your kid anymore. Yeah, I know. Okay. Ugh. All right, man. Ugh. All right, thank you, then. You go shut that kid up. Okay, so so you were right, right? You're calling from uh, the the chicken, right? Yeah, I'm calling from the chicken. Okay. All right. All right, then. I will uh, dis disregard this, then. Okay, hey, I love you. Okay, take care. Do you love me? <laughs> I don't know who you are, bro. Tell me you love oh, me. Okay. Say you love me. Okay, just say it, man. No, say I you love you. You don't know who I am, but like I said, take tell, tell me you love me. Thanks.
Man, what are they doing to that kid back there? Hi, Roy. I'm calling about your ad on Craigslist about the chicken. Um, if you could give Bill a call at area code 6191. Thank you. Did she say Bill? I think she said Bill. Hello? Hey, it's Roy. I was calling about those chickens. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, where are you located? Uh, I'm in um, El Cajon. Okay, can I stop by and pick a few of them up? Yeah, sure. Uh, do you have, how many chickens do you have currently? I have zero. I just got one rooster right now today. Oh, do you have dogs? And... No, I don't. Cats? No, I don't. What kind of animals do you have? I don't right now at this point. Do you have children? My dog, I just had a, a golden lab, and it was 10 years old, and it had cancer in its leg, and I had it put down. Ah, oh, crud. And, uh, that would have been easy. So now I'm switching over to um, so switch over to get some eggs. Ah, I see. Well, how I usually do it is uh, you have to bring your own chickens, and we have we put them in a, a ring, and we have them fight, and whichever one wins, that you know we wager our chickens. Oh, uh, chickens? You mean roosters? No, these are chickens. No, no these are chickens. Oh no! Okay, I'm looking for some actual chickens. Because I, I give them drugs, and then they 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 freak they freak out. They start pecking at each other. They can actually kill each other. Are you for real? Yeah. So that that's the one thing uh, about these chickens is their systems are uh, they got a lot of drugs in their system. Oh shit! But okay, um, never mind. But no, it's cool. Like, uh, you know, we can we can still figure something out. Like, I just um, want to get some chickens to get some eggs. What about your wife? Do you think how long do you think she would last? And do you think she could beat a chicken if we put her in the ring with like three? Are you, look, are you for real, dude? If I had you in front of me right now, I'd give you a black eye. Why would you do that? Are you for real? Of course, I'm for real. I'm, I'm just. Well, you're talking about my wife, number one. How about your wife, motherfucker? Uh, no, my wife is not interested. But I was just, I was just asking. What do you think your wife couldn't win? No, you're disrespecting me. I'm not disrespecting you. I'm just saying your wife's probably... You said how long you think my wife could last in the ring? How about how long you could think last in the ring with me? No, no, I, I don't want to fight. I, I just, I, it just sounds like your wife's kind of a pussy. If she, yeah. can't, she can't even fight a chicken. You're, you're right about that. You you're, are right about that, but it has no reason for you to disrespect me. Okay. Well, I mean, if she could win, I'd give you a bunch of chickens for free. Who is she fighting? She's fighting chickens. How many at a time? Three. But they'll be on drugs. Three? So they'll be super aggressive. <laughs> the chickens will probably win. But uh, anyway. And they're also genetically modified. And I've been giving them steroids. Yeah. So it would be a, a no-win situation for me. Because she would probably be scared and, and fucking run like a bitch. Wow, that's disrespectful. Of her? No, of you. You sound like a shitty husband. Why, why, would you, that? why would you say that about your wife? Because that's how her character. Wow. That's what you think of your wife. Wow. Well, that's her character. That's, what she, that's how she is. You must be just a... What about a, you? You a tough guy? No, no, I'm not tough at all. I, I just... Uh, but I'm, I'm good to my wife, at least. Oh, well, you I'm know, not married. I, I wouldn't talk I'm shit about her like this, like you're doing to your wife. Well, you talk shit about her not even knowing her. You know what? I'm well, I'm gonna. Like you know, she's price. she's the one that called me. I have her phone number here. What if I what if I called her back and played this conversation for her? What would she okay, th- we can do that. No, I don't want you on Let's the phone. Do that. No, I don't, I don't want you on the phone when I do it. Yeah, well, I'm not a pussy. I'm, I'm, you are. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask her. Like I'm gonna say, hey, is he okay to you? Like, are you all right? Okay, go ahead so, and answer that. Okay, I will. Okay, I'm gonna let you go so I can do that. Okay. I'm going to dial her really fast so you can't dial her first. I'm going to be like, don't pick up. Oh, there he goes. I'm not really going to call her. I'm pretty sure I called her already because I recognize her phone number. I think she might have been one of the first people I called. Got a call coming in. Hello? Um, hi, uh, my name is Ryan. I saw your crazy list ad with a bunch of extra chickens. Is that still a thing? Yeah, yeah, I've still got a bunch. Um, they're okay. they're about four times the size of a normal chicken. Oh, they're they're like they're okay. and they're very aggressive. Like you don't have 
other animals around, do you? Like goats? Because they'll, they'll kill the goats. Oh, really? Yeah, they're are they ju- like, are they all roost- roosters or something? Oh, no, or? these are chickens, but they're, um, they're, they're, they're genetically modified. I've been experimenting and making uh, larger chickens. So these. <laughs> what do you what do you crossbreed them with pit bulls? <laughs> oh no no I'm just uh, I'm just changing their DNA around and making them huge. I see. So they're very gotcha. get they're very right. aggressive and they kill other animals. So you'd have to keep them all separated. Oh. I see. And you'd have to have like oversized gotcha. chicken coops like maybe just use a barn. And keep them in. Gotcha. Keep all them, right. Keep them in horse stalls or something. Gotcha. Uh, they eat right, yeah, I they, got a couple little dogs and a, and a couple of chickens already, so they'd probably get eaten alive. So yeah, I'd I figured kill them. they were just you know your garden variety normal egg layers, like in, in you know. No, no, like these things dogs. they come they come up to your shoulders. Uh, you know, the top of their heads they're about a, a, even with the your shoulders. I see. Um, right. And they eat a lot. And and weirdly enough, gotcha. they poop more than they eat. Uh, so uh, yeah, it's a lo- it's a, they're a lot of maintenance. But you know what? If you can kill them in the end, they produce really good chicken meat. I see. But the problem is uh, that it's kind of hard to kill them because they've they're evolving. They're learning to use weapons. I see. All right. Well, I guess that's a pass for me. So, uh, All right. good luck. I mean, do you have, have a great day. do you have a gun? Because if you can shoot them from a distance, you're safe. Yeah. For now, because they yeah. only do spears. No. I see. All right. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. Oh shit! We got a call coming in, and I think it's from that guy's wife. Hello, Roy's Chicken Farm and Chicken Battles Hi-ya. Arena. Hello? Yeah, on Craigslist. Hello. Hey. Hi, I seen your ad on Craigslist about free chickens. Yeah, yeah, we got chickens here. How many do you want? Uh ten. Is it okay that they're uh they're about as um they're 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 like four or five times larger than a normal chicken? Why is that? What? It's hard to hear you. Speak into your phone, stupid. Why is that? Did uh, you just call me stupid? I'm sorry, it just came out. No, they're genetically modif- modified chickens. Um, so we, we've been making them extra large. So they, they come up to about your shoulder, probably. Well, I hear that you want me to go in the ring with these chickens. Hey, well, look, speak into your phone so I can actually understand you, you fucking retard. I said, I hear you want me to fight you in the ring, uh, fight the chickens in the ring. There you go, honey. You did it. You talked into the phone properly. Good job. You, you are a punk ass bitch. No, I'm not. At least you I don't. You hear that? At least I know how to what? talk into a phone. Yeah, my phone is messed up because I dropped it in water, and I'm not a fucking punk ass bitch like you. No, no, it sounds fine now. You were just holding it like a like a stupid. But but now you're doing a good job. You're you're holding it the right way. You're holding it right side up. Good job, honey. Who's that in the background? Uh, um, that's my boyfriend that you called, and you asked his wife to go in the ring. That's who that is. Yeah, he he uh, he said you were a pussy. Yeah, I no, I'm not. No, no, he said you were. He's like, yeah, she'd probably puss out. She probably couldn't beat three chickens. She'd probably run away like a bitch. That's what he said. Really? No. Have you seen me purchase three hundred pound gas? Have you seen me lift eighty pound bucket? I haven't seen my chicken yet. Yeah, I saw you. No. Yeah, trying to act all tough for me on the phone. Whatever. Oh, he's tough, buddy. I'm not impressed. He's pretty. Oh well, he's pretty tough. Do you have any free chickens or not? I do, if you want to fight for them. Fight. 
You got to get in the ring with them. They're uh, they they've been they've been taking steroids. They're genetically modified, and I'm going to give them drugs. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Tell, that it, sh- it, 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 tell that guy to tell that guy to shut it, the it. fuck up. He's not invited. It's just going to be you. Why is it only girls? Because that'll be more. That'll be funnier. Funnier. Yep. I can't hear him over your shitty phone, so whatever insult he's saying to me, it's not working. He said, do you want to fuck his wife? Uh, no, I don't, because uh, I can already tell that you're really fat. I'm not really into the fatties, I'm sorry. Well, we do got somebody that might want to fight chickens, but um, she did uh, maybe want to fight your ass for being a rude-ass motherfucker. Oh, no, I, I, I'm not going to uh, fight a woman, because I'm, oh. I'm a gentleman. A gentleman. Yep, that's me. Well, anyway, it's nice that you guys want to call me and have a conversation with yourselves, but I'm going to hang up on you okay, now. Check it out, stupid punk bitch. What's your address? How about that? Um, you want my address? I'll give you my address, but don't don't bring that okay, don't bring that guy with you. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, it's ninety four eighteen Mission Gorge Road. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's in Santee. That's it. Ninety four eighteen. Yep. Mission Gorge. Yep, that's it. Oh. Okay. That's See you there. A, all right, yeah, come on over. I hope they come over. That's Chick Fil A's address. They're going to show up to Chick-fil-A looking for the chickens. I thought I had an El Cajon one in here, but that one says Santee. I don't even know where Santee is. Maybe that's a part of El Cajon. Maybe they don't have one there, but uh, I'm going to do Popeye's. Here we go. I found a Popeye's fried chicken restaurant. That's what I'll give the next people. Hello? Hello? Hi. Hi, I've been calling from morning, and I saw you. Did you put out, like, you are giving away chicken? Yeah, yeah, I have chicken. Is it totally free? Oh, yeah, completely free. How many do you want? I mean, uh, I have a big coop. Um, I don't know. It's like uh, I was reading the regulations, how many you can keep. Because if, if your coop is like 50, 50 feet away from the from the house or something. Yeah, I who knows? I don't know. 15, right? I'm a rebel. How many are you keeping? Oh, I have, Are you keeping them? Yeah, I have over 70 right now. Fuck regulations. Wow. So why did you move out here? I'm <laughs> just curious. Oh, I'm, I'm doing experiments on chickens. I'm genetically modifying them. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Oh, okay. But, um, so you're yeah, just moving here. I'm oh. just tired of these, these oh, wow. chickens. I want to get rid of them now. Okay, so what time are you available? Uh, definitely, I would love to take like uh, maybe uh, maybe fifteen. Yeah. Okay, sure. Because yeah. I'm trying to do. Yeah, I wanna have some like you know laying ones so I have eggs and stuff. Yep. Um. Yeah. Um, I used to have a lot. I finished them, and now I was just going through the list, and I was like, Oh my god, somebody's giving me the chicken. Yeah. Um, um. I can deliver them to your house by drone. Wait, what? I'm going to deliver them to your house by drone. They're going to, I'm going to bring them in on a drone and it'll be Uh 300 feet up in the sky and then it'll release the chickens and drop them on your house. Whoa, that's crazy. I have an SUV. I can come with boxes and grab them. No, I don't want you here. Whoa. Um, so how do I pick like what I want? Are you just going to just give like oh, randomly? Yeah, I'll give you the best Every ones. The, I'll give you the best chickens. It's just that I'm going to bring them. I'm going to f- fly them in by drone and then drop them on top of your house. I can have them there in about 20, really 25 minutes. <laughs> if you can be ready in Does 20. Does it really work? Oh, yeah, yeah. They have wings, Never right? Never heard somebody do that. Yep, it's going to be a spectacle. Hopefully they all land on your property. You might have to chase them if they go in your neighbor's yard. Oh my god, <laughs> that's what I'm scared of. Yeah. Okay. What's your address? Uh, um. Won't there be any issue if you do that? Nah. I'm just, I'm just, you know. Nah, probably not. I'm just gonna drop them from 300 feet. Should be fine. 
Uh, give me a second. Let me ask my brother. Okay. Oh, well, I had brown to deliver for the murgi. Like, yes, you have to put three in the six bed. They drop it. Fifteen bola. Sorry. Uh, yeah, my brother says it's okay. Okay. What's the address? Ah, uh, it's three. Uh huh. Eight. Street. 8th Street. Okay. Is that El Cajon? Uh, no, this is like National City area. Oh, okay. Like, good. That's yeah, Paradise. Paradise. It's Paradise Valley, basically. Yeah. Yeah. That's closer to me. That's good. I can probably have it there in less that's than... That's why I was like, I'm going to come and grab it. That's why. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I can probably have it there in about 20 minutes. Um, it's going to drop from 300 feet in the sky. Just the chickens. Like I'm not just scared. I hope there's no issue, you know? Nah, it'll be fine, probably. We'll see. If any of them die coming down, just give me a call and I'll send another one. Okay. Okay, let's see if it works. <laughs> yep, yep. Uh, go outside in about uh, 15 minutes and be waiting. It shouldn't be more than 20 minutes. Okay, cool. Thank you. Uh-huh. Goodbye. Bye. I can't believe she was okay with that. I think I've had it with calls about chickens. I'm done, but I kind of doubt this is the end of chicken calls. Maybe I'll do some more this weekend if they're still coming in. Thank you, whoever put an ad on Craigslist with the prank line number. If any of you would like to do something similar, just use the phone number 508 508- Seven eight four six nine six nine. Definitely don't use the PLA voicemail to send prank calls to. Always use the prank line number. That makes it much more easy for me to deal with. And also, I can receive the calls. I can't receive calls on the voicemail line. Woo! You reached the Cisco kid. Jesus. All right, just uh, bringing back my missed connection uh, comment that was sent towards me by Cody Chaos. Never heard of you. And no, I did not play Final Fantasy with you a decade ago or whatever. But yeah. find me on the Facebook. The I like I like the video games and I don't know, we'll chat and stuff. Aww. And the Snowplow Show. Oh, it's so fucking cool and stuff. I love the voicemail, Brad. Keep up the good show. I'm going to call you again in, this, in the soon, eventually. All right. Bye. Bye, Cisco Kid. He's on some good drugs tonight. I think I've got you figured out, RVCP. Oh, no. I think he used to be a secret agent, and I think you were trained by the CIA. And that's how you're able to do the social engineering stuff so well. And that's how you got out of the John Bonet Ramsey thing. Oh, yep. well, shit. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. Uh, Probably not. just a joke. This is what happens to most CIA agents. They end up doing prank calls on the internet. Hey, Roy. It's uh, Chaos Cowboy. Hey. Now, last week I asked you whether you wanted a stupid question that was 30 seconds or a really good idea that was three minutes. And God help you, you chose the three minutes. Big great. mistake. So here's your three-minute great idea. It doesn't mean I'm going to play this entire voicemail. Yeah. You should call people as a uh, representative of 23andMe or something like that tell them all manner of uh, things about their relatives or themselves that they were previously unaware of. Like, Mm -hmm. they are a distant relative of someone along the lines of Joseph Goebbels or Richard Nixon. Okay, I think I've done this show already. Go listen to the 23andMe episode of the Snowplow Show. It's a fun one. I need to do another episode of those, by the way. I just got another email today. It's like I get new DNA relatives every single day. Like, there was a thousand of them when I first did that show, and by now I think I have like an additional 400 or something. It's crazy. Everybody's joining. I haven't found any new brothers or sisters, though, yet. Hey, Brad. It's uh, it's Fresno Carl calling. Listen, I don't want this to be on the air. This is uh, personal. Um, oh, thanks, Fresno Carl. Just wanted to call and thank you for the, uh, the bouquet and, and the card. Yeah. Uh, You're welcome. Aunt Trudy would have really loved it. Uh, she, you, you meant a lot to her. This is a three-minute-long voicemail, like exactly three minutes. It cuts off. And uh, it was, Let me it was just, it was I'm really going to skip ahead for you. Nice, what you wrote is you need to get um, get some um, some trash bags. Trash bags. Okay. Yeah. Now, now hear my whole thing. Trash bags. Hear the whole thing. I'm going to listen to the whole thing. 
Ah, you shit, I just skipped ahead. A bunch of, well, you, you call up like one. Oh, I'm sorry. I got to end your voicemail. I'm getting a phone call. Hello? Audio. Oh, hey, how are you? Oh, my, oh man, I'm, I'm calling to you. This is my third time. You know, I left you a message. Oh. As you have it, I'll The start. message. So wow. I'm, I'm interested. I'm interested in, in getting a few chicken that you have. Oh, the, chickens. The, yeah. Yeah, I have so, so many. I have so many chickens. Okay. I have like a bunch of chickens. You you put an ad on a Craigslist and I saw it and I I want some of them if you please. Can yeah, you? you can have all my chickens. I have like three hundred chickens here. They're all in cages. Okay, when, when one can come? You have to take all of them though, and you don't all get of them. You, you have to take three hundred chickens, but you don't get the cages. I want the cages. I'm gonna I'm gonna use it for scrap when metal. No, 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 no. Can we, can we get like uh, five or six or ten? No, no, fifty. No, 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 no. You have to take three. There's three hundred and twelve total. So we gotta take all of them. Yeah, you have to take all of the chickens. Okay. Um. No, we can't get all of them. Okay. Why not? Okay, okay. What do you have against chickens? <laughs> I have nothing against chicken. I don't know what you have against chicken selling only three hundred. Uh, given three hundred of them. Yeah, I just want to get rid of them all. I want to get rid of well, you know, every people, chicken. Not a lot of people have 300 spaces for them. Yeah, you know I mean? yeah, I guess. I don't know. Why don't you make, no, some, that's right. that's make right. some space? Get but rid of your kids or something. We, sorry, can we get 30 of them or more than? No, no, 312. That's what you get. Take it or leave it, motherfucker. Okay, okay. Nice. I'll, I'll call you later, okay? All right. Maybe I'll take I you. hope you I'll do. Also. All right, Thank bye. You, Bye. Maybe I'll call you later, okay? A I few hope minutes, you, maybe. Yeah, okay. You already said that. Jeez. Repeating yourself. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Hi. Bye. Hi. Bye. Bye-bye, man. Bye. <laughs> hey, Brad. This is Ronald Rabbit here. Long time listener of uh, PLA and Snowpile and everything. I just had to call and listen to that new voicemail. Oh, and great. it certainly made my day, bro. Thanks. Anytime. Glad the new voicemail is amusing to everyone. I think I'm going to change it to something more boring just so I don't get so many voicemail messages. Hey, Brad, it's Screw. Long-time listener, not first-time caller. I'm calling you from east of the Rockies. Yay. So anyhow, I see on the new message you've said, don't leave a message here if you don't want it played on the Snowplow Show. Well, I don't want this played on the Snowplow Show. So there. I uh. dare you, don't play it on the Snowplow Show. I double-dog dare you. Yeah, that's it. Don't play this on the Snowplow Show. All right. I'll hang up now. I showed him. I played his voicemail on the Snowplow Show. Oh, hey Brad. Tapwater Wolf. Hey. I just heard the episode where Big Moist was talking about the new voicemail. I have nothing to say, but I figured I should listen ah, to the voicemail. Ah, okay. Deleting that one. There are so many voicemails in here of people just calling and hanging up immediately. Hey, Herbie. Hey. How you doing? Pretty good. Calling from California. Uh, one of your big fans. Um, I was driving around the other day, and I saw an ad on the back of a vehicle for equine sports massages. I didn't get the number, but I did look that up, and there are several places, at least out here in uh, coastal California, that mm -hmm. do that. And I think that that idea just, I mean, it writes itself. Happy ending, um, yep. what have you pretty much everything you can do uh, like with what? any massage parlor, but this one happens to be with horses. So, that's my idea. Okay. Take care um, and have a good one. It wasn't, it wasn't really an idea. It was more just like, I saw a number, but I don't have it here for you. But, you know, unlimited possibilities. Hey, this is a root boy from Texas. Hey. I just wanted to come into the snowplow show today and let you know I pooped today. It's Yay. a great achievement. I, I just want to let you know. Good job. Thank you, Rod. You have a nice day. I'm proud of you. Hey, Brad. It's Crimson. Hey, Crimson. Love the new voicemail message. Thanks. It was a great use of my time. I but see I'm, it didn't work very well because this message is a minute and a half long. I my time on the voicemail to talk about it. Uh, first of all, you should, use, um, you, you should use a false dilemma in your 
call. So whenever you, you know, are calling people and you say, hey, can you do this? Then offer them two options and have them choose between the two. And both of them can be ridiculous. But okay. people will just have a really hard time saying a flat out no when they're given an option, even though both of the options are really crazy. Uh, the other thing is you should say no pun intended when there's no pun. You know, just say it randomly. You know, just say a normal sentence. And just say no right. pun intended. I'm going to do that. They challenge you about it, just say yeah, but because there was no pun. No, no pun, pun intended. But, you know what? You're basically doing that prank to me. You're giving me two options: no pun intended and two options. And a bunch of other stuff that I guess we're not going to hear because you went over the allotted time. Oh, well. Oh, uh, hey, RBCP. This is Great Big Pete. Hey. Uh, Great is Big this when Pete? I go? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Don't um, fuck this up. Just thought I'd call to say hello and uh, wish you a good day. I really dig the calls. The, the radio show, it sounded like you were calling good old uh, Kentucky because the guys were saying, do what now? Yeah. And it was fabulous. I just thought I'd say that. That was uh, that was awesome. It sounded like you were up in there and maybe in Stearns, Kentucky or some nonsense. Maybe. You know, and it's I like, don't even know what show you're referring to. Oh, yeah. Swap Shop. I can't remember where I was. I was in several different places. Yeehaw! And but, he called you a cowboy. You should have been like, don't call me a cowboy, partner. Yep, I should have <laughs> been. That would have been funny. Anyways, that was a good uh, a good time. Say hello to Brad, Chloe. Yeah. Okay, Chloe doesn't want to say wow. hi to you. Okay, bye. That was great. Huggy, 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 huggy. kissy, kissy, kissy. Tell that kid to shut the fuck up. All right, that's enough voicemails. I'm done with the show. Thanks for listening, everyone. Thanks to the sponsors, the Swedish models, Carol Gertie, 666, Plaz, JT, and Todd L. If you'd like to support the show, please do that by going to patreon.com slash phone losers or phone losers.com slash cactus. $5 a month gets you an extra show every single week. It's a really great deal. If you don't support the show, you're crazy. I'm ending today's show with a request by Default Urine. He wanted me to play this song from The Crow soundtrack, and I think it's kind of interesting because if you look at the deleted scenes of The Crow, you know, the 1990s movie, not the remakes, but if you look at the deleted scenes, there's this whole subplot involving prank calls, and they took that out of the final movie, but they left this song in, which is by Nine Inch Nails, and it's about prank calls, and I don't know, it's kind of interesting. So here it is. This one's called Dead Souls. Hey. I'm waiting. What happened? Oh, the the oh shit. They didn't I, it it didn't arrive? No. I think I sent it to the wrong address. Which address did you say? 32 8th Street. Oh, 8th Street. <laughs> you said 8th Street, like number it's, 8? No, it's 8. Yes, number 8. Oh, no. I it is number 8. I sent it to I'm H Street. I sent it to. Oh no! Oh no! I dumped chickens <laughs> on some random person's house. <laughs> Shit. Oh my god! Crap. Um. Okay. I'll send you another delivery. Uh, how many did you want again? Fifteen. But I. I hope you don't get in trouble with the other one. No, they won't know where <laughs> they came from. They'll just. They'll just be hanging out at their house, and a bunch of chickens land on the roof. <laughs> Oh my God! I'm so oh, sorry. Is my face red? <laughs> that's, that's why I feel okay coming and grabbing it oh. myself. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm so sorry about this. Um, it'll just take. No, 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 no. I'm sorry about it too. Yeah. No, it's a. It's not your <laughs> right, fault. It's. Um, I just. Okay. So eight. You want Street. me to text you? No. I can text you. Oh no! I got it this time. I definitely got it this time. Uh, it'll be less. Yeah. Than, it's three, less... two, eight. Street. Okay, 8th Street. Street. I've got it. Yeah. Letter 8. All right. Um, yeah. Okay, well, uh, it'll be less than 20 minutes. I, I promise this time. I'm so sorry. I'm... <laughs> no, no, that's fine. I'm just worried, like, chickens everywhere. <laughs> no, nah, it'll be fine. They'll just fly down. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, fi 15 to 20 yeah. minutes. Uh, they'll be there soon. Okay. All right. D be waiting. Okay. Be watching. Bye. I will. Thanks. Thanks.